In this video, I wanna show you how to do some reverse speed ramping in order to get this really cool effect. So let's jump to Premiere Pro and I'll show you how to do it. Just to let you know, this effect does work best if there's not a lot of things going on in the background. I tried it on this footage as an example, um, but because too many things going on, it didn't work. So you do kind of want to make sure that there's not a lot of little bits moving around in the background. Um, it's more or less still, so this is a perfect example of what we're looking for. All right, so we've got my skater boy, comes up to the rail, grinds, and what we want to do is stop it at this point before he drops. So you go to that point in your timeline. Let me just zoom in a bit here. Right click, come down to show clip keyframes, go to time wrap remapping and click on speed. Now what you want to do is hit P on your keyboard or click on the pen tool over here. And let's just zoom in and at that point, we want to make our mark. Then what you're going to do is hit V on your keyboard or come here to the selection tool and everything to the right of this, we want to click and drag down all the way to 1%. Can't go any lower. Also, this footage is shot in 60 frames per second. I feel that that also does help because you have more frames to work with. So try to get a higher frame rate if you can. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this out of it so that it feels a little bit more natural. So what I'm gonna do is just after my last point over here where it's at 1%, I'm gonna go a little bit further and I'm going to make a cut and clear this and then what we want to do is we want to slow down make it look good and then take the footage in reverse so to do that let's just smooth this out a bit in order to make it look good and now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our footage come down to speed and duration and over here in this drop down you're going to hit optical flow hit okay you're going to see there's going to be a red line because it needs to render so come up to sequence hit render in to out if that doesn't work make sure that you have an in point and an out point selected over your footage you can do this by hitting i on your keyboard in the front and o at the at the end and now we go to render into out it's just going to render through the footage quickly and then what you're going to get is a much more smooth video now what we're going to do is hold option hold the option click on your footage and drag it across we are duplicating that same footage then take the second piece of footage right click on it come back down to speed and duration hit reverse speed hit okay that's gonna take the same footage and play it in reverse but what we need to do is come back up to sequence render into out because of the red line above the footage it needs to be rendered and now we can play through our footage and it should slow down and go into reverse and you can play around with how long you want it to last for. That's why I chose to keep a little bit of footage. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, check out some of my other videos on the channel. If you want to be a better video editor, I'll see you guys around. Peace out.